It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and day one of the epic Xeriscape project in Lakeside, California. For those of you that aren't familiar with Lakeside, it's the seventh ring of hell here in terms of temperature. And as you can see, we have no trees in this installation space. This is a brand new build and the client is actually on payroll with the tractor moving dirt as we speak. He is the owner builder of the property. So we've got 30 yards of soil here to move into attractive mounds. So we had our dirt delivered yesterday and now we are manipulating it into the you know into the into the mounded areas we're going to be running pathways in between the mounds for accessibility and just you know as a little sidebar see all this rubble the client harvested all of this rock from other areas of his property and he is going to continue dry stacking around the perimeter of the property we're going to come through in downtime and we're going to pull all the weeds so don't be alarmed about that and then we're going to put some herbicide in here to help keep them from coming back. Back here we're going to have a decomposed granite um, pathway that extends from the edge of the curb around here to this cute patio that has a wonderful little pergola over it. Then this pad over here is going to house a shed so we're creating another pathway off the patio to cut through the cactus and succulent garden and come around here. The door will be here. Now the shed is on back order. It won't be here probably until mid-July, so you can just visualize. Then over here, this will be a planting area, but because of the existing downslope and the fact that I don't want any moisture to... Um, against the foundation of the house. I'm not gonna mound this. We're just gonna plant at grade here. I'm gonna do rock back here behind the patio. Since this will be a place for seating, I don't want anybody accidentally pushing a chair back into a cactus or whatever, so that'll be rocked. And then there'll be another path right here coming off of this concrete pad and wrapping around and connecting up here to this sidewalk. Uh, you can see all of the great rubble that he's done. In another phase, we're going to be doing a dedicated cactus garden up on this slope. It's bedrock over here, solid bedrock. So this area is where our cactus garden is going to go. It's going to be gorgeous. That's for another phase. We will not be irrigating this installation. There will be no irrigation. However, the client is prepared to hand water about once a month in the warmer months just to kind of keep things going. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I've got the plants coming from Caesar at Sun Valley Nurseries. I've got great big beautiful specimens. So I'm extremely excited for Caesar to arrive. Our boulders from KRC Rock will be coming a little bit after lunch. So that gives us just about another hour to get all of this dirt moved.
Okay, so the boulders are all staged now. With the help of Bart from KRC and his fabulous crane, we, cause these are anywhere from four to 900 pounders. Um, but I mean, just look, you can already start to see the landscape really starting to take shape. We've identified the pathways. I had no idea where the pathways were gonna be when we started because I know not to stress about it. I identify my mounds, my areas where I want the, the influence of the green of the plants first, then I get my boulders staged all around those mounds, then we are able to see the pathways just literally open up before our eyes. So the next step, uh, in addition to starting the planting process, which we'll continue in earnest on tomorrow, but the next step tomorrow when we come back is going to be to roll out weed barrier fabric because we want fabric under pathways to help keep that DG from sinking into the ground. It also helps circumvent some weeds. So the, the, all the um, weed fabric will be rolled out and stapled into place. We have DG and flagstone coming tomorrow. Um, our flagstone, we have one pallet. So we're gonna determine if we have enough to connect the sidewalks from the front of the house as well as enough to connect from the patio to the shed in the back so that's tbd the rest of the paths will be dg and who knows we might be able to get really creative with that flagstone too so we'll just have to see this has been laura eubanks with team dfs reporting from lakeside with the epic xeriscape and your succulent tip of the day bye guys